Additional question, we move on. So the fifth presentation is uh, Professor Watanabe, carinal resection and double barrel reconstruction in during esophagectomy for esophageal carcinoma with bronchoesophageal fistula. We appreciate the chair of this meeting for giving an opportunity to make a presentation in this session. There were no conflicts of interest. A 54 years old man had a difficulty in milk to eat. Endoscopy detected type 2 esophageal tumor, and he was referred to our hospital. He had a past history of schizophrenia. Regarding laboratory findings, the blood test and the respiratory function test was normal. The chest CT shows the gastric tube was detected at esophagus. The esophageal tumor with the seeking wall was detected around the carina to left main bronchus. The boundary between the left main bronchus and tumor was unclear. The preoperative esophagogastric fibers show the type 2 tumor was detected at the upper thoracic esophagus. The biopsy revealed the tumor as a squamous cell carcinoma. Then, bronchospic findings show the irregular elevated region was detected at carina to left main bronchus. The esophagography revealed the leakage from the esophagus to left main bronchus. So, clinical diagnosis was bronchoesophageal fistula. The PET CT shows the abnormal uptake only at the main tumor. There were no findings of this distant metastasis, so definitive chemoradiotherapy was started. After starting the chemoradiotherapy, the tumor bleeding was detected. The patient hoped surgery strongly, and we judged as completed resectable. So, joint surgery with esophagogastric surgeon was performed. Now, I'll show the intraoperative movies. At the beginning, we insert the lower esophagus. After taping, we cut the lower esophagus. Then we insert the upper esophagus and cut. The main tumor was invaded to the carina to left main bronchus, so we convert to the carina resection. After taping left main bronchus, then we cut the left main bronchus. In this time, we preserve the left bronchial artery. Then we insert the short cuff tube into the left main bronchus with ventilating left lung intermittently. Then we cut the trachea at uh, two rings above the carina. Then we cut right main bronchus at one ring tail side of carina. The esophagectomy with the carina resection was finished. The old surgical margin was negative. Then we mobilized the trachea from surrounding tissues. Then we mobilized the um, left main bronchus from the pericardium. Then we mobilize the left main bronchus from the pericardium. For tension release, we open the pericardium around the right lower pulmonary vein. Like this, we perform the hydro release. Then we start to anastomosis. The anastomosis between the deepest cartilage side of trachea and left main bronchus was performed with a continuous suture using a sleazel proline. Then, interlattice suture between the ventral side of trachea and left main bronchus was performed. We also performed interlattice suture between the 
dorsal side of trachea and rect main bronchus was performed. Then we retract the continuous suture and the suture lines was attached. Then ligation was performed between the continuous suture and interrupted suture. Then we continue to the interrupted suture between the rectum main bronchus and trachea. Then we start to make a new carina. Interrupted suture between the right main bronchus and rectum main bronchus was performed using a four PDS. The total suture was five. At the new carina, the ligation was intraluminal. The interactive suture between the right main bronchus and trachea was performed. And so finally, the member side of trachea and both sides of main bronchus was performed with the suicidal proving. The no covering was done. After ligation, the anastomosis was finished. Regarding operating summary, the root of gastric tube reconstruction was retrosternal and entrosomy was also performed. Regarding pathological findings, the pathological N2 region was detected and the R0 resection was confirmed. As the postoperative closed 27 days after operation, the fissure of the new carina was detected. However, the general condition was stable, so we performed the conservative treatment, and four months later, he was discharged from the hospital. This is a postoperative bronchospheic findings. 27 days after operation, the fissure was detected at the member side of new carina. Under the conservative treatment, the fissure was gradually closed, and three months later, the fissure was completed cured. Now he is under no recurrent survival at 14 months after surgery. Conclusions, all the carinal resection and double valid reconstruction is different in surgical technique and postoperative anastomotic complications. The technique is extremely useful for local control of bronchoesophageal fissure. Thank you for listening. I think because we are running out of time, I want to just make a comment because there's no matter that the video is wonderful, it's amazing actually, also the technique, but I, I got a serious concern about the indication, honestly, because you you submitted the patient for mo to more than 10 hours surgery with a, a length of stay of more than four months, and this is totally out any type of guidelines, at least in Europe. So, uh, no, uh, really, no, no doubt the video is wonderful, and I'm, I'm really happy that the patient is uh, surviving uh, more than one years after surgery. But this, is, I think, is something shouldn't be presented as a, as a, as a standard. Okay.